the hell? He just did a better video, huh? Got 1.6 mil. I got 48,000. Anyway, I don't want to get claimed or anything. So I just, I'm going to, so if you guys haven't seen this documentary I did about a little over a year ago about dank vapes, this was kind of like the initial, you know, vape crisis, right? This was literally people died, right? Um, people died. Okay. Now, this one... For this particular type of packaging, Dank Vapes, the CDC last week confirming... Okay, let's just watch a little bit of this. Then we're going to jump into what's going on currently. We're going to talk about, you know... This is just to give you a little context of uh, potentially how this could have gone. Obviously, this is a different situation. It's more about pesticides and, like, long-term exposure. And, um, anyway, we'll jump into that. Let's jump into this, though. If you guys haven't watched this full thing, go watch it. I'm going to play the first, like, one, one minute or two minutes, maybe, and then we'll jump into current day. Make sure you guys hit the like button or, you know, wherever you're watching on. If you're watching on X, YouTube, LinkedIn, wherever it may be, make sure to the like button. Support your boy. Subscribe to the YouTube channels, by the way, if you guys haven't. Make sure to subscribe to LMC THC. That's, that's where all these live streams are going to end up. Um, I'm going to be logging off the main LMC channel uh, soon. Also, sign, you know, subscribe to High Design and Retro Tech. Anyways, let's jump into this. And we'll For people to utilize a popular brand's name recognition. Usually when we think about knockoff commodities, counterfeits, we think about clothing, technology, jewelry, and more. Typically, knockoffs really are a way for people to utilize a popular brand's name recognition and brand equity as a leverage point to sell said knockoffs and make money. While yes, there is money being potentially lost for the actual legitimate brand, it still is an indicator of that brand and their products being extremely popular and highly sought after. And over time, brands typically will develop some system to authenticate a real product, like for example, with Jordan or Nike. Right? They've developed different systems to make sure that consumers would stop getting ripped off. But like I said, Besides the brand maybe losing some money or the consumer getting scammed and losing some money. But besides that, I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? According to the latest numbers from the CDC, 2,290 cases were reported. What's the worst that could happen? Reported <laughs> from 49 states. Sorry, not to laugh too. There's people that died this and I, I, not to laugh that whatsoever. Um, really tragic. Um, like I said, if you watch this whole video, they talk about some of the cases, but, uh, it's just crazy, you know, crazy, cra craziness that happened back in, uh, 20, what, 18, 17, 2019. 40 thefts have been confirmed in 25 states and the district of Columbia. It took his brother from a healthy 20 something to this. Within 24 hours, he was being medically sedated and put into a medically induced coma. The grave says his brother bought the vape vials off the street. In fact, we're looking for this particular type of packaging, Dank Vapes, the CDC last week confirming of those patients in Wisconsin and Illinois who had reported the Dank Vapes brand was used by a staggering 66% of them. I talked to a young man named Fabian who was using the Dank va Vapes Gorilla Glue. We had two samples from the illicit delivery come in as Dank Vapes. They were labeled as such. Um, and they had some of the highest array of pesticides. One sample had uh, 51 times the legal limit. Okay, go watch that video. If you guys haven't seen it already. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Talks about dang vapes, you know, the brand. It's really more so about the fraudulent fake. I mean, and this is a different situation, um, obviously, but it's definitely in the exact same vein. Um, and it's really an issue that hasn't really been fully cleaned up. Um, and there's a number of reasons for that. We're going to jump into those reasons. Um, but like I said, 2019, let's, let's, let's set the, let's set the stage really. So 2019 around the country, people start to get sick. Some people die like 48 or about, and I see somebody in the chat said that, um, your ma did. I'm so sorry. Um, if, I, if I have, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, hot dog water, right? Fake vapes, right? Um, pretty much 
the problem with, you know, usually when see people fake your brand, right, it's typically a, kind of a good thing, right? I mean, it showcases the, the you know, the equity, the brand equity and the, and people are choosing to put that fake packaging, you know, the problem with fake packaging and the problem with fake carts is that the people that are filling it don't have any SOPs or any regulations. And that really, you know, that led to people adding vitamin E acetate to these vapes, right? In some cases, and that's what led to people's deaths, right? Um, now, 2019, I can remember, man, I mean, I, I saw countless, I mean, I saw like a multitude of different companies go out of business all around the country, like, and, and this is in the legal industry, right? And really this is touching more so, this, is, this was the black market, right? This was the black market, black market's doing was fake carts. So in 2019, we kind of saw the vape crisis hit the, the black market, right? Now, what we have here with this LA Times article, which is, you know, I think a lot of people have been knowing this to a certain degree for some time, but I think because it was the LA Times and it was a really, it was a well done, well done article, um, you know, it was well researched. You know, I actually interviewed uh, Alex Halperin from uh, Weed Week. Um, we actually got a full documentary coming out on this pretty soon. Um, but because, you know, a combination of different things, this LA Times article blew the hinges off the door, right? And this was more in regards to the legal market, right? This was targeting, specifically targeting, looking at different legal, you know, recreational shops or not shops, but recreational, yeah, shops, but recreational brands in the California market. Okay, so think about this, 2019 black market, huge scare, people die. 2024, LA Times article showcasing a bunch of really, really nasty pesticides, um, potent, you know, potentially, right? And it really just showcased a massive uh, problem with the, the labs, right? Or the testing, the overall standards for these products, right? And I, I definitely think that, you know, in general, I'm going to be real. Like, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to hate on anybody. I'm not trying to hate on these products. I think in general, and this is just me from, and I, I'm not hating on anybody too. Cause like I, I, to this day, I'll smoke them from time to time. I think distillate and like, you know, cartridges, I mean, in general are like really not the healthiest way to consume, not taking that away. You know, I'm not trying to say don't, you know, don't necessarily smoke, you know, do what you ever want, do what you do, what you want to do. But I mean, I've just, over the years, I've just been like, this is not a, very healthy, especially because if you look at the distillate and the quality of the distillate and all that, plus, you know, it, it, you know, there's, there's pesticides and flour too, and nasty stuff with like heavy metals. But uh, yeah, distillate, distillate is not, not the one for me. And, you know, even like, I mean, live resin is cool. I think that's dope. You know, I think that's better. It's way better, obviously. Um, but in general, I mean, these, these vape, you know, the way just because this is a jewel right here, but like, just vaporizers in general. I think it's it's just so easy to access. There's no like barrier to like you know consuming. So it's it's maybe not the healthiest thing for certain people. Um, I've I've seen a lot of people get CHS actually cannabis hypermesis syndrome from you know carts. So anyway, not to take away from carts. Like I said, you know carts are are going to be one of the most consumed products out there. Um, I think they are to this day. I mean they're, they're at least 20, 30 percent of the of the market share. I think of like products. I, I might have that wrong, but. Anyway, my, that's my personal view on it. Not to say don't, like I said, don't consume it or not, you know, just make sure that they're clean and tested, you know, because, you know, this is, it can, yeah, it can be some nasty stuff in there. But this leads us to really the problem with what? The definite problem with the labs. Now the labs are kind of been a joke for quite some time all around the country. I mean, these testing labs, some of them are good. Some of them are... Okay, some of them are some of them are some of them are actually are good, right? And some of them are trash, and some of them are corrupt, right? Um, and that's just that's just inherently the case, right? And so, pretty much what happened here with this LA Times article is it looks like three labs were getting frustrated in California. I don't know the labs' names necessarily, but three labs that were apparently playing by the rules, whereas everyone else wasn't. OK. So three labs that were playing by the rules, were looking around, they were seeing, oh, well, this lab over here is just getting taking bribes. This lab over here is taking bribes. 
Um, this is just, we're trying to play fair and they're, they're not. So it looks like, and this is what I kind of get the sense of when I was talking to Alex, one of the people that wrote that article, um, that these labs, you know, had made, you know, him aware, um, LA Times aware of this problem, right? So, so yeah. Um, yeah, I remember, I remember SC Labs years ago having a scandal happen. This was years ago. It's not now. Uh, I know they're still around. Shout out to SC Labs. Um, I think they're, they're doing, they're doing a lot better now, but, um, definitely have been some scandals. I mean, there's all different types, whether it's faking THC percentage, faking this, that, I mean, just in general, the whole system is like, it's just not, it's, it's, I'm honestly like one of the few, this is like one of the few times I think that the government should take over testing. I know that sounds stupid. I, I'm usually pretty against that. But I think there needs to be much more standardization across the country. I think there needs to be, I don't know. That's just me. But there, there's been some solutions, though, to this problem that have been, you know, proposed by people like Elliot from Catalyst, uh, which we're going to go into here in a little bit. But let's go into. Let's go into some stuff. So, well, yeah, what are you guys thinking, though? What do you guys say in the chat? Stizzy carts got my homie sick after smoking them. Nasha has the ceramic carts. Okay. Um, Canada does, I believe. Bro, that would be a fire job. No, I agree. Oh, for the government. Yeah. Not cool. Yep, legalize, grow your own. Definitely. Yeah, I don't know. Um, benefits, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, there was multiple, like in this, in this report, you know, we saw multiple different times where, you know, I mean, everything was, I mean, it wasn't just pesticides. So there's all different types of pesticides, right? But there was definitely some there's multiple times where people would say, oh, it's 30% THC, but it was really 15%. It was said it was 15% THC. But anyway, THC doesn't really matter. You know, as most people that are pretty educated know, um, you know, that's not really a thing. So it doesn't really matter as much, right? This, uh, But for the, you know, the, the uneducated consumers that they look to that, right? Obviously. Um, right. This is a good point. There's a 10% window on testing. It can be labeled 10% higher than the actual testing. Okay. Yes. Which car's got the point? We'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Alien Labs passed. Yep. So what do you think about the report? So I what I think about the report is I think that I think that there's like, you know, there's, there's blame to be had for sure. Um, I think that there's certain companies that are definitely doing some kind of sneakier stuff for sure. And we'll talk about that here. Um, I think there's certain companies that just had no idea. It's, it's, you know, it can be complicated to see who exactly fault it is. I mean, at the end of the day, it's, these labs shouldn't be, te you know, these, should, these labs should be, you know, not taking bribes. These labs should be, you know, better. But also these producers, right? The the people that are producing these, these, you know, the the input material for these cards, right? This is, I mean, that's where a lot of these pesticides are coming from, right? And anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Let's let's jump into, like I said, I got the full like documentary coming out. Um, pretty like pretty soon here we've been working on it um but let's do this first let's go so so if you guys if you guys go to highdesign.media by the way folks you can guys can go sign up for free there's a free version and there's also a paid version and this is my streaming platform, right? Uh, 
Okay, so I need to I need to update some stuff. But I mean, we got we got a ton of different pieces of content that's only available only available on this platform. So you're gonna want to trust me. I'm telling you, you're gonna want to you're gonna want to check it all out. Um, where oh, where is that? I will say too, guys. We'll, we'll actually talk a little bit about this. Um, let's talk. We'll talk a little bit about this too. But hold up, guys. Okay. So we'll talk about this. We'll talk about this real soon. This this shit is pretty crazy. I was reviewing this last night. Um, this is just kind of a little taste though of the stuff that we have exclusively on this, you know, on this uh, platform. This is all the JPAID stuff that just, you know, pretty crazy you i literally watched him maxed out two of Macias's. like anyway that's some different stuff that's like it's an hour long it's i mean it's messy messy but like i mean yeah anyway that's the kind of stuff you know some of the some of the content you can see there's also like like a lot of educational stuff as well um but here let's go here so this is the raw so a lot so all the interviews that i do by the way they all get put up right away raw uncut to this platform. So make sure to go sign up guys, highdesign.media, www.highdesign.media.